Hi guys. Okay. So next we're going to talk about um, vocabulary um, from chapter four and chapter 31. So these are uh, founding theorists that will come up often. Um, and other theories and theorists are um, usually founded or based on the founding ones, you know, so they're all connected. Um, so I need you to just have a um, general definition um, for certain ones. And then also there's certain terminology in an introduction to teaching children with special needs in uh, chapter 31. So there is inclusion. Um, so even if you do not plan on being a special education teacher, you will still have children in your classroom um, that will will or can be having services at any given time um, for certain areas of development. So just be aware of that and have an understanding um, to support them. So first, we're going to take a look at the vocabulary word list. I'm going to post um, another video that will give you, um, that will break down uh, information on the other, um, on the chapter four theorist. Um, so I'm going to post that video and that will um, summarize from the chapter, chapter four of working with young children by um, Judy Herr. Brain Development, Eric Erickson, Jean Piaget, Lev Vygotsky, Howard Gardner, Kohlberg, and Maslow, which you'll have um, all of them typed out their names, and then you can just type in your definition and visual image notes beside those words. Right now, I'm going to talk about the chapter 31 words that everyone um, needs to have a definition for. So if you can see my list here, okay? And then I'll open this, I'll show you how to open this up. But we're gonna go to your book and we're gonna take a look at a couple of these words. The first one is I-D-E-A, okay? The letters, it stands for Individuals with Disabilities Act. So we're gonna to go to the online e-flashcards, right, for our Working With Young Children book. So I'm gonna go and look for that word. Here we go, Individuals with Disabilities Act. It's federal re law requiring all states to provide education and support for children who are developmentally delayed, okay? And I believe the book also tells you about the year. So I'm gonna go back to the vocabulary list and the next is the IFSP. The IFSP is Individualized Family Service Plan. So I'm gonna go back to my online flashcards. Can you see that? Individualized Family Service Plan. So that is children that will be in our care. It's a strategy developed when a preschool age child is diagnosed as having a disability. It includes the family's needs in regard to enhancing the child's development, goals for the child, services to be provided to the child and or family, and a plan for transitioning the child to other services and regular education. So the IEP would come into place um, for kindergarten or after kindergarten and that preschool age child would have an individualized family service plan. So that is where they start. Now, the next definition for chapter 31 is the IEP. So we're going to go and find that one. Let me flip back through here. So the IEP, Individualized Education Plan. And again, you'll have all of these spelled out in front of you on the Google Doc so that you can just fill in the definition part and the visual image explanation um, or an image if you so choose. A written strategy for learning designed to ensure that each child with special needs is educated in the most appropriate manner for him or her. Okay, so that is an individualized education plan. It is a written strategy 
for Learning designed to ensure that each child with special needs is educated in the most appropriate manner for him or her. So referring to our word wall words, a child could have a physical disability, which could be with fine motor skills or gross motor skills. A child could have social or emotional um, disability or, you know, needing help in those areas. Um, a child could also have special needs with cognitive development. And then there's certain um, areas within the curriculum, like some children need some more support in math than they do for um, reading and writing, you know, so it's not always a one size fits all. So that's why it's an individualized education plan. Okay, and the next word is referral. Okay, so a referral is how this process starts. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna read that definition off. Referral is directing a parent to obtain a diagnosis from a professional when a problem exists with a child. So the referral would be like the teacher is documenting and seeing some things and then the family doctor is usually involved. Then they would reach out to the school district within the child's um, zip code, the public school district, and there would be a um, school psychologist would also take a look and, uh, and do some testing and observing. And then um, that process, so referral is a process. So directing a parent to obtain a diagnosis from a professional when a problem exists. So it has to be, you know, seen and observed several times, um, not just one time, uh, for you to, you know, have a conference, explain what you're seeing, and then have that shared with a doctor to start that referral um, process. Acceleration is the next word under chapter 31. So I'm going to scroll back to that word. So acceleration. Sometimes when children are bored, they misbehave and they need acceleration, okay? So things are too easy for them or they've already learned this, they need um, a little bit more. Um, a process in which a gifted child is assigned to a class with older children. Okay, so that is a, um, the for the word acceleration okay so sometimes you have to help them get um something that is a little bit more challenging or appropriate for them um to feel more successful then we have the word enrichment okay so how is that different than acceleration let me scroll to find it there we go enrichment it is a process to broaden the range of experiences with special curriculum, okay? So sometimes it's like uh, being asked to present something or um, participate in something. You have that enrichment um, and expansion of the learning Next, we have seven, which is inclusion, which I think I said a couple times. Um, children need, with special needs need to be included as much as possible. So that's why I say that you, you will never be able to say, I don't teach special education children because they still need to be included in your classes. Um, so they may just have, they may just go out for certain things or you might be doing some co-teaching. Um, stuff like that. So the word inclusion is the term used to refer to an education setting in which children with and without special needs are integrated. Okay, so they are taught together and given the same similar opportunities. I don't, always, I don't want to say same, right, because we have to meet um, IEP goals. So sometimes we have different goals for different kids. Um, to meet the same end result, but that's just part of inclusion. Um, intervention specialist, number eight. Uh, some of you may decide to, to go into that area of teaching. You can be an intervention specialist with for preschool only, 
or you can choose to be an intervention specialist with um, children K through 12th grade, um, but usually you will, and I'm not seeing that uh, on here, but I don't, I don't think it's in the flashcards. Um, so an intervention specialist is what Ohio uses for special education teacher. So you may choose to work with middle school children as an intervention specialist. Um, and so then you would focus on the fourth grade through eighth grade curriculum and uh, filling in learning gaps um, with children that could have cognitive learning disabilities um, or some other things that are hindering um, where they are in middle school and uh, what their IEP goals are. Um, you could also be an intervention specialist who helps children with um, that have uh, moderate to severe disabilities that can include behavior problems and some other things, emotionally disturbance. Um, and so you could kind of work with them one-on-one -on, -one on certain IEP goals in that area. So all of those fall under the different categories within an intervention specialist. Um, so just know that that is a special education teacher. And you would uh, choose kindergarten through 12th grade, um, specializing in certain uh, grade areas and or um, subjects. Or you could decide to get an, get a um, intervention specialist for preschoolers. So there is that possibility. So that is the end of that. And then I have another video for the chapter four theorists introduced.